What's going on, everyone? My name is Tyler here, and we are here with the captain of the beautiful Mariner of the Seas, and we're here on the Navigational Bridge, and we're going to give you a quick tour here. Captain, first of all, thank you so much for having me up here on the bridge. Uh, this is uh, a massive machine to move, and this help plays a role, correct? Well, uh, for us, it's not that massive. It looks massive. It looks impressive, but of course, we are equipped for it, and the team here is well trained on it, so... Uh, for the most part, things are going very smooth and easy, as you observed and experienced during our departure here from NASA. So we are right now just behind the steering console, and um, you would think a big ship like this would have a st big steering wheel, but this is it. It's uh, not very big and impressive, but it does what it needs to do. Everything is, of course, electric, hydraulic. So we have electric signals going down to the to, uh, pods that we have in the back, connected to the steering gear and it will then move the pods in the direction uh, we need them to. But of course, we have multiple ways of turning the pods. So we have, of course, steering wheel. We also have what we call non-follow-up. We switch over here. This is sort of a backup system to where we can turn the pods individually here. We can also turn it, uh, of course, with the autopilot that will turn the pods to keep the heading and course of the ship. And when we change that course, we just change the setting on the autopilot. And then the autopilot will then order the steering gears to turn to bring the ship to that heading. We can also steer the ship with what we call a mini wheel. If we go into the center okay. console here, we can have a look. By the way, this is second officer Ivan. He is Hello, uh, my officer at the moment, so he's actually the driver. We also have uh, first officer Enrico, who is the official watch officer at the moment. So we always have two officers on watch uh, on this ship in addition to a quartermaster. So he's the lookout, and if we need somebody on the helm, that would be the person to do okay. so. But as you can see here on the, on the main console, uh, we have what we call a mini wheel, so we can switch the mode, and we can actually steer the ship with this little thing, or we can do, do uh, Asiman configuration, where we actually turn the pods themselves individually. We do that when we maneuver in port, as you saw, when we were leaving the, the pier. So we also have, of course, a backup system for the RPMs on the pods. Instead of pushing the handles, we can switch over and use a, a touch button system. That is all backup and emergency uh, mode operation. Uh, our screens are, of course, Ectis and radars. So we have uh, seven nodes for the Ectis. So we have backup for backup for backup. So if things starts failing, we will then switch over to the other nodes, but uh, we have plenty of uh, navigational power here for that. So, yeah, pretty standard. Of course, ship is 20 years old, so uh, the layout and everything is uh, 20 years old, but we have done some modification. Originally, the cockpit was closed, horseshoe, mm. but then a few years ago, they opened up the side here so we can spread out a little bit and also add some features to the bridge. Communication systems, of course, and backup for that. Different phones, and of course, a bridge like this will have a lot of buttons and lights and uh, things to see. But yes. most of that is just information. You know? Okay. So it just tells us that something uh, is on or off, or open or closed. So we can, of course, change the modes there too, and open and close different things, including watertight compartments, uh, shell doors, uh, watertight doors, fire doors, etc. Uh, in the back uh, used to be the chart room, of course. We don't do paper charts anymore, so it's more an administrative uh, station. Um, of course, we also have ECTIS and radars here and different uh, instruments. And we have electronic log now. We don't oh, have okay. a paper log, so we don't write by hand everything. A lot of the stuff in the electronic log is actually automated. It goes in automatically, or we have to activate it and it gets logged. Uh, we have, of course, we can put in freehand and give information and stuff like that, but uh, most of the stuff goes in with a click and it registers in to the log with a time stamp, etc. And, of course, we have the main uh, GPS stations, etc., in addition to echo sounder and, and other fancy instru instruments yes. that uh, are normally not something that we monitor, but it's there if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have a main communication center here with the um, DMDSS system. We have two units there, one backup. Uh, different computers, uh, a stability computer here, which is, of course, constantly monitoring the stability of the ship. 
So we have to keep that uh, in mind when we do different things and make sure that we have all the liquids in the right places yeah. to keep the balance, etc. And we can also move liquid, oh, okay. ballast, fuel, fresh Off of that water, computer? Et we, no, we, this is just reading what it is. Oh, it's just reading. We have okay. all the screens where we can actually oh, do okay. the things. So they are close to. We can also do some of that in the front, so you don't have to come back here to, to do so. Um, also, we are, of course, recording everything with a DVR. So, yes. uh, excuse me, DDR. <laughs> so everything, the radar screens are recorded. Act is uh, also voice. Yes. So whatever you say up here, if, if it's a secret, yeah. Don't say it. <laughs> yeah, don't say it. Uh, of course, uh, we have a fire detection system. So every room has at least one detector, and it has an, an absolute address. So if one detector is uh, activated, we have an absolute address oh, on it. So, and, so you uh, can find the exact yeah. point of the... Mm -hmm. oh, that's so cool. like in two state rooms, if we have a, an active uh, fire detector, usually it's a hairdryer. Okay. Uh, so then we can call them and, and check on it, and we can send somebody there yes. to check on it. So, But uh, of course, the system is very sensitive, so if it was a real fire, there wouldn't be just one. Yeah, it would be a lot going there off. There would be a lot of them going off. Of course, CCTV systems, we have uh, plenty of cameras around the ship to, uh, that yes. is continuously recording. You pick this view, is it these views specifically, or is there something that... Uh, is probably gorgeous? it's from our last boat drill, because we were checking okay. that the boats were coming down, etc. So. So we do that, and that is the same as we have in the front. That's sort of our our side mirrors. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that the officer on there, he doesn't have to run out on the wing all the time. He can just have a look there and see what's what's on the side there, like a big truck. Mm -hmm. the backup camera, very nice. Yeah, we do have a backup camera. We don't have the beep, though. Yes, no beep. <laughs> so, right. So that is just the main uh, fire detection uh, system. So that is a separate system, but it's displayed over here. So. And that All right. chart, uh, chart table well, anymore? That's well, just, uh... This is our emergency plotting table, so that if we have something going on on the ship, we can work it out here and see what's, what is around that area. And when okay. we have a fire drill, etc. Oh, so we, you can figure out the exact location? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we manage it from here. We also have, of course, all the drawings of the ship. Here we can pull out the different slides here and see different parts of the ship. But since everything went electronic now with you know, AIS and um, charts and stuff, well, nautical charts, you don't have to use a big table anymore, correct? Not for chart work, no. Yeah. So that is okay. all electronic on a screen, which for us older guys, it took a little bit to get used to. I can imagine. Because, uh, you know, it's like when you start with computers. You read the newspaper on a screen is different than holding a newspaper in your yes. hand, right? So you, know, you always have this feeling that, uh, okay, with a paper chart, even if the power goes out, you still have the chart in your yes. hand, right? That's why we have so many backups, and we have backup for the, uh, for the power supply. Uh, so the navigation system goes on the emergency power, plus battery as the last resort. And of course, um, on the bridge wing where we have to be when we are docking or undocking the ship so that we can see the side of the ship and we can see the dock and we have everything here is exactly the same as in the middle but a little more condensed oh okay so this will be whoever is uh, maneuvering the ship will be standing here and handling then the pods individually or together well, it's pretty much like the same setup on the middle yeah for the most part mm -hmm. plus and minus a few things yeah of course we also have a, a, a dp system dynamic positioning system that we can activate. Mostly we use that for positioning instead of anchoring. Yes. So we don't anchor on our itinerary here, but there could be a time coming when we have to sit and wait. Yeah, like tender parts like uh, Grand Cayman, right? You would, yeah. you would use this. So uh, we used to also do it in, in Coco Cave back in the days. So okay, we yes. Tendering, yes. So. Of course, now we have a pier, so we don't have to do that. It's life easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, overhead displays are the same as we have in the middle, but just a little more condensed. Than and that, there is the backup camera, you can see, but it's dirty right now, so it needs yes. to be washed. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Captain, all right. thank you so much for giving oh, me this amazing tour wow. and all the oh, viewers so back welcome. at home. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos here from the Mariner of the Seas and many Royal Caribbean ships in the near future. And of course, the Piloted series, we are showing you a lot of those videos. So, Captain, once again, it was a pleasure and thank you, sir. And thank you. And I just want to say that for everybody out there, the pilot is an important part of the team. They don't always do something uh, actively, 
They, like in Canaveral, they are actively yes. guiding the ship in and out of the port, but they always come with a contribution to the safe operation of the ship, whether it's information, knowledge, experience, or something else. Yes, absolutely. All right, everyone, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye.